Here we go, fellas. Doing a video this morning, drinking my coffee. Uh, yeah, last night was uh, chit chatting with my buddy, Mr. Reggie. And, uh, just got to finish. I was cleaning up the room in here, looking pretty nice and stuff. Kind of getting stuff situated and putting boxes up and everything. But yeah, guys, uh, 450 is right there, ready to go nice and stuff now i need to finish working on the 500 up there finish putting the uh tail section and stuff together and be ready to go buddy you know waiting on my tail blades for the 500 uh qav right here guys qav 250 ready to go just finished it up last night with the uh settings for the transmitter and stuff i remounted the uh transmitter right there on the back got it up in the air because uh, with this one trans with this uh, transmitter right here the antenna is built in so yeah yeah I, like I said I had it uh, upwards at first I'll show you guys the way I had it mounted at first use this battery I had it mounted up straight like this at first and I didn't like the way it was sitting because of when the blades uh, be real freaking close to uh, be real close to it guys so I didn't like the way that was because you can see how much room there is on the back side of this bad boy where you can run six inch props but the front as you guys can see is a little different you see how much room you get right there on the front right there guys and that's a good thing because like I say I ordered the uh, spacers for the motors the angle uh, uh, excuse me the 10 degree angle motor spacers for the motors that way I can tilt the motors in an angle for fast forward flight and uh, I, I can uh, be able to run six inch props on this bad boy but uh yeah, like I said, got it all that done last night with the transmitter settings and everything, and she spooled up nicely, and I love it. And uh, might have to redo my antenna because it is kind of a long antenna right there, guys. Might need to pull the wire down in some more and kind of cut my uh, tubing, my heat shrink tube down a little bit. So, but other than that, this bad boy is ready to go. She's ready to fly. But we got all this bad weather coming at us, so I won't be able to test this bad boy, which I can hover it here in the house. But uh, that's another thing. But here we go, guys, to the uh, ZMR 250 quad that I have right here. And after I had finished doing the QAV last night, I went back to this and was working on this one uh I don't know how in the hell I burned out my uh, receiver, my uh, Spectrum receiver that I had on here last night, which is this one right here. It was working real good, and for some reason all of a sudden it just quit working, but uh, you got like a little burn smell to it. But anyway, guys, uh, i lucky I had this orange one backed up, DSM-2. Uh, pop that bad boy on there she lit up and I was able to finish the settings in the uh, CC3D which I knew I had a bad CC3D board that came with this kit because I was not able to get into the firmware and flash this bad boy and get it to work until I purchased my purchase a new CC3D which is this one right here and then the seller ended up sending me a new one so it's a good thing I end up buying a new one because, uh, like I say, that one is bad for a bunch of you guys who are sitting there saying that I need to flash the boot log aware. No, it wasn't that. Like I said, I knew what I was doing. It was a bad board. So, yeah, I got that all out of the way. Set it up last night, the new board up last night without any problems. Got all through that situation, everything. Transmitter set up. And once all that was done, got it to where it was armed and everything. And... Now I got it to where it's working, guys. But the issue now is, I'm going to show you guys the issue that I'm having now. 
which I think is these uh, speed, these uh, ESCs right here that came with this kit, these 20 amp ESCs, guys. Oh my goodness, it's, it is not a good thing. Uh, let me pull, get one of these batteries right here real quick. See if I can let you guys kind of see this fucking pop my phone up right here while I plug this in okay guys as you guys can see we got movement and everything yeah the lights flashing in there like it's supposed to be there's no red light like it was on this one right here so I have the blue and the yellow light on there now now here we go I'm just to activate this bad boy guys I'm gonna let you guys see of uh, the issue that I'm having now I activated to where's y'all to the left as you can see there she goes now look at that you hear that guys and that's mid stick and she's sputtering so I didn't went into the program guys and uh let me disactivate the uh motors there she went motors is disactivated now alrighty so as you guys can see the issues that I was having with it sputtering and stuff like that so uh, like I say uh, I do believe it's these ESC's because I didn't went into everything into the settings and everything and changed everything and uh, made it to where I can sync all four ESC's at once and to the uh, CC3D programming and, um, and I got all the motors programmed to where they're all the same speed. So, I mean, it shouldn't be no reason why it's sputtering and stuff like that. So, like I say, I think it's these ESCs. So, I'm going to take care of that situation. I'm going to uh, probably be taking this bad boy back apart again. And as you guys can see, my box with all my parts I got, I bought for this thing. I got a ton of blades. So, I'm good on blades. But uh, if I'm going to end up doing that, I'll probably end up rewiring this bad boy again with my uh, squid cable. That way I can run it straight through there because I haven't got no uh, Team Legit board yet. Because it's kind of hard to get them bad boys. But here go my uh, Afro, my uh, Simon K Emax 12 amp ESCs. So I'm going to have to uh, end up taking these out and... Uh, end up putting them bad boys on here so I can get this bad boy to work right because I do believe that's what Reggie did because he was having that same issue but thanks for watching guys this is a long video and uh, please like the video and subscribe